two off the ranch. My name is Matt. This is Demo's garage, but we also just use it for everything, including receiving giant crates. The giant crate that you guys saw in an episode a few weeks ago, it's finally back. And in that episode, for those who didn't see it, I got this crate, super excited about it, opened it up, and the thing I was wanting was damaged in there. And I made the call to not spoil the surprise yet and not tell you guys what it was because I wanted you to see this thing in all of its glory and not broken. So now, assuming that it is not broken today, we will actually show it to you. This thing is from Zydax. Zydax makes super awesome, super custom gaming computers and I have wanted this for a while now and I was so disappointed when it came broken. And it, it obviously was like dropped somewhere in shipping. It had like a huge chunk out of the pallet and the box, like where it had been dented. I think someone just dropped it off a truck or some forklift ran into it or something. Something jarred this thing a lot. And you'll see when we open it up, it's packed really well, like really, really well, but it's just a computer and obviously it's not, you know, made to be dropped off of the truck. So hopefully today it's good. And I will show you today what this thing looks like. But first, let me show you the current gaming computer that I've been using. Operator Drewski, my brother, built it for me two and a half years ago probably, and I've been using it to play Modern Warfare, PUBG, uh, Forza, it's pretty much it. Battlefield. Those are pretty much the only games that I've played on it. But it's getting a little old now. It's a little dated, and it doesn't run Modern Warfare while I'm streaming. Like, I can't stream and Modern Warfare with OBS and everything at the same time, and so I'm like, man, it's time to upgrade. I decided to upgrade in a big way. Operator Drewski's on his way over. Let's go check out my old computer first. So, hey, Operator. What's up? This is my gaming desktop that you built me. Mm -hmm. Can you give us just the specs? So... How long ago was this? Two and a half years ago? You call this desktop bad and, and, and crap, but... No, I don't think it's that bad. But but we built it for like the minimum price that we could possibly build a gaming PC to play Battlefield 1, which was like five years ago. That was, we didn't build it five years ago. Okay, four years ago. Um, we didn't build it four years ago. Three years, three maybe. Three years ago, okay. Okay, but we built it three years ago and we, yeah, we didn't go all out and make it insane. Yeah. And so it's just, it ran fine except when Modern Warfare came out. I can't stream and play Modern Warfare. It starts jamming up big time. Yeah, for the nerds out there, it's like an i5 and then a GTX 1060. And, and like 16 gigs of RAM. So the That's PC you're thinking. getting today, is that already, you've already told them it's a PC, mm -hmm. right? Okay, yeah. good. PC you're getting, I guess obviously, the PC you're getting today is going to be maybe like five times as powerful as this one. Sweet. Five of these just hooked up. And this is a cool computer. It's really neat, I'm gonna keep it, but. It's cool, but it was also on a budget. Yeah. You had a budget of like nine, or like a, a nine hundred dollars or a grand or something. Yeah, I think. Built it off of that. Yeah, I think so. And it was a, it's a great computer. Yeah. Let's go see a really good computer though. Ooh. Deja vu? Yep. <laughs> Definitely have been here before. Yeah. So, fingers crossed, this one has not been dropped and broken. So let's go ahead and open this thing. got to this spot, um, we opened it up, and this is a water-cooled computer. Just realized my head was cut off while I was talking. It's a water-cooled computer, and we picked it up, and it was leaking. So it had been jarred so much that it had broken a couple of the connectors inside there and was leaking the fluid out. So we picked it up, and we we're like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> so hopefully, God, this thing is heavy. It's filled with all that coolant now. We got it out of the box. That Dotson looks cool though, Drewski. Thanks. Congrats. Um, okay, <laughs> check this out. Uh, you'll be able to see a lot more inside, but you can see like the glass is etched with Demolition Ranch logo there. Go ahead and open her up. Fan, 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 30. There are right? 30, yeah, we counted, I'm pretty sure, we need to count again, but I'm pretty sure there are 30 fans in this. So it is 
water cooled. These are radiators and you can see they have a fan on each side. So they have pushing and pulling fans on the radiator. That's a radiator. This is a radiator. You can see they have big coolant lines going in there and they made this thing super custom as you can see another little demo ranch with the Barrett up in there. And then these coolant lines actually have real 50 BMG brass <laughs> to decorate them. This is so cool. So yeah, let's see. There are four fans at the top. It looks like there are eight on this radiator, eight on this radiator, six on this radiator, and then there's four more in the front panel. So insane. So that top graphics card has the demo ranch on it. The second graphics card down there, you can't hardly even see, but it has our logo with some shotgun shells on it. So the reason there's so much cooling in a computer like this is that they probably overclocked and amped up everything in the entire which means make it computer here. run way more powerfully yeah you can make any computer part basically run faster it's just going to take more voltage and that's going to make it a lot hotter so when you deal with a lot of voltage and heat you need a ton of cooling so usually these graphics cards are cooled by air but in this case it's cooled by this water cooled loop of huge pumps and reservoirs so it and pumps our water in there it takes the heat from them and then pumps it back through our radiators to cool them down and then pumps the water back in. Which is insane. And there's <laughs> the whole thing up there that's just a huge, I guess, I don't even know what it's called, a reservoir for the water to just sit over the radiator? I don't even understand that. You mean over the... Uh, or over the processor. Over the processor, yeah. So crazy. And I'm trying to even figure out, so water all pumps through here too. That's yeah. how it connects down there. So water, water runs through these pipes, <laughs> runs through all this, how does it get to the top? Oh, the top fan doesn't have a radiator. It's just blowing air into yeah, it. Yeah, this is just the an case. exhaust because this is an intake and you gotcha. don't want positive pressure. You want it to be kind of flowing through. So air is coming in through here plus up through the bottom yep. and, uh, so and then all out. kind of going that way and this way. Yep. And God, that is going to pump so much heat into my office. <laughs> yeah, your office will get hot after 30 minutes of playing Call of Duty. My AC bill is going to be high just getting all of this heat out of I here. I have one of those, and it's an air-cooled one, and my room will get hot in 30 minutes. So, fun. <laughs> Sweet. Are we ready to go hook it up? Oh, yeah. There are no leaks this time. It it's, hasn't been dropped it's on its head. Reservoir's full. Full of water. This is good. We are going to go plug this baby in. Slowly. Oh, Whew, you're good. We made it. Okay, so I'm unplugging everything out of the old CPU, and uh, obviously, uh, this little compartment in this desk was specifically built to hold this thing. I made it. This one's not gonna fit. I, I don't think. Let's just let's do a little size comparison. Hmm. Like, it's literally three and a half Maybe, times bigger. Yeah. God. And wider, so too. It's wider and taller and <laughs> so much heavier. Okay, we were trying to shove it right here in this corner. It's like the perfect little spot. It's like an maybe half an inch. It's just, I didn't, I, I measured, I was like, yeah, it'll fit, but I forgot the big handles on the front there, so they're hitting this trim. This is hitting this desk. This desk is actually stuck here because um, this shelf sits on it, so it's all hooked in right there. So, I can get a saw and just bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
uh, power cord for this here PC. This looks like something that would power like a welder or something. Like that is some serious yeah. power cordage going in there. All right, we got it in place. It fits now. Really, the way I should have done this was taking it apart and taking it out to the barn and just did it. But I was like, yep, don't got time for that. So the circular saw did a pretty good job. Until I got to there, I couldn't go any further, so I had to get the uh, the uh, jigsaw on there, and then it just got all crazy again. Jigsaw, no bueno for cutting the really thick wood. I think that's it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's so cool. Holy cow. Oh, you can see the water moving through it. Insane. Dude, that is perfect. That is so cool. It's quiet. I don't hear anything. Yeah, all those fans I bet are running super... Super, Super slow. slow. You may hear a slight buzzing noise right now. It's because I have an air conditioner on in this room. Um, but I can't actually hear the computer at all. Yay. Holy cow, that looks so cool. I ordered a bunch of extra stuff to get ready for this. This is like a party in here. Look at this. Drew found a controller for the lights. But there's so many lights in there, I don't know if it's going to pick up this infrared sensor. <laughs> Uh, it's somewhere. It's it's infrared, so it has to have a little. You have to point at something. It. Yeah. Oh wait! Whoa! You're changing the lights on. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I think it's at the graphics cards. Yeah. We got her all hooked up. We got the <laughs> whole setup. Drewski actually helped me figure out all this stuff. I wanted to upgrade everything. I was like, I just want a really nice gaming setup and editing. Like, I want to do editing on this, which this thing should do editing. Like. So fast. Better right? than my PC. Like the hardest part about videos is like you have to render, which means you have to put save and it just takes a long time depending on how complicated, how long the video is and how good your computer is. So this one should go very fast. Can you explain kind of what we got here? So you got a super PC. Super! Um, you have a Shure SMB, which I believe Michael Jackson recorded Thriller on this microphone, fun fact. For real? Yeah. This exact one. Yeah, this exact one. Yep, so cost $15, smells like him. <laughs> um, and then you've got two 1440p displays that also go at 144 hertz. So OMG, you were, you were running 60 fps on games. Yeah, you could even even if the PC went higher than that, your display was capped. Was not going to do anymore. This is going to be like super smooth. How many like fps is this one? 144. Oh, 144. So over, gotcha. Over double. Cool. Um, and then you've got nice gaming mouse, gaming keyboard. This microphone hooks into that audio thing. Yeah, which I'm actually really pumped about this. When you're streaming especially, but also when you're making videos and stuff, but when you're streaming, someone will say like, hey, the game is too loud, or your microphone is too loud, or we can't hear you, and you have to go open up settings and like do it all on the computer. This will make it to where I can go, you guys can't hear me? Okay, then I'll just turn a knob and go, now can you hear me? And they'll be like, yeah. That's perfect, right? I mean, that's yep. that's the beauty of it, like a physical exactly. volume changer, yep. which is going to be super nice. And I'll plug in huh, these headphones. What are these? So those, everything here that you guys see is what I use for gaming. These headphones are nice. They're very airy. Actually, shout out to Level Cap. He was the one that said, I asked him one day because my headset broke. I was like, hey, what headset do you use? He was like, that one. And so um, a lot of people think footsteps in video games are important and think that you need a bassy headset to be able to hear footsteps, but crunchy headsets, like really high high treble headsets, are actually better for that. <laughs> and I'm using these now instead of these Walmart ones. Yeah. That actually worked okay, but they weren't great. People always made fun of me when I wore <laughs> these on my stream. They're, they're like, tiny. They're like, what are you using? And I was like, they look they... like they belong in a computer lab for elementary school. <laughs> What this means is I'm gonna start getting back into streaming. I kind of just fell off because I couldn't play Modern Warfare and I don't know, I've just been busy too. I'm Turkey! I am primarily YouTube, <laughs> but I also stream, but I just really haven't in like two months. But now that Zydax gave us this supercomputer, I can start streaming again, and Operator Drewski really wants me to play Escape from Tarkov. And Donut Operator and Clean and everybody else. Yeah. Come on. Play with old Batty and Eli and all Batty, those, all those dudes. They all play Tarkov, like primarily now. Uh, yes. Escape from Tarkov. I think, I think it's happening. So, if you want to check me out on Twitch, link in description below. Also, I'll link this guy's Twitch in the description below. And also, I am going to link Zydax for hooking us up with this awesome computer. And I will put all the other stuff in there just so you have all the specs on everything here, in case you're interested in setting up your own 
gaming system because it's a lot of cool stuff and operator drewski does this a lot so i think he knows what he's talking about oh yeah thanks for your help operator yeah no problem man i see you dang check out my lair This is my new lair. Okay, I'm gonna actually read you guys some of the uh, interesting specs because a lot of you guys are gonna wanna know them. I'll put them all in the description below just so you know. Um, motherboard is a ROG Rampage 6 Extreme Encore. I'm also gonna sound like a total noob saying some of this stuff because I, I don't know all the inner workings of computers. Let's be honest. This is like Lunkers trying to say the specs of his new C8 Corvette. <laughs> Shots fired, Lunkers. Processor. Intel Core i9-109802, 10980XE, 18 core with hyper threading, 4.6 gigahertz turbo. Memory Trident Z Royal 8 times 16 gigabytes, so 128 gigabytes total. Graphics cards, there are two NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti's, 11 gigabytes. Um, water-cooled with a link bridge in between them and a bunch of other stuff. We'll put it all in the description below. And because I'm partnered with Zydex, you actually get a coupon code for 3% off. So the coupon is Demo Ranch. So anything on their site that you order, 3% off if you use my code Demo Ranch and it helps out what we do here. And now what are we gonna do with this giant setup? Well, obviously we're gonna be streaming more. I used to stream, oh, we were doing like twice a week for a while and then we went to one day a week and then it was like once every two weeks and now I haven't streamed in like three months or something. But we're getting back into it and it's because my computer just didn't work for the games. My other computer only had one screen and it's really nice to have two because you play on one screen and you have all your like setup and controls and everything here, your chat running over here. I always would just set up my laptop next to my computer. So I had like my desktop, my gaming desktop set up and running the game and doing the stream. But then over here on my laptop, I had my chat and everything. And it was kind of annoying. It'll be really nice to have it all in one place. And I can have like playing here, chat here, I can have like, I can actually have my, sh my stream up here where I can see what it looks like to make sure everything looks good. I can get everything perfect. I always like, when people watch my stream, they were always kind of like, Matt really half butts this stream. That's true. Hopefully not anymore. I think I'm going to full butt this stream from here on out. I love that we're just rolling a demo ranch ad on the channel back there, so. Sweet, I'm um, yeah, helping out my channel by watching my videos. <laughs> all right, all the stuff that we have talked about in this video is linked in the description below, and very soon we are streaming on Twitch. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you Zydax for making this giant, amazing custom demolition ranch build possible. It looks so good, and I am so pumped that I actually can get back to streaming. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor. <laughs>